we are back again today to continue our weekly prayer. Recall that for the past three weeks, NIREC, in collaboration with the Office of the Secretary to Government of the Federation, Nigeria Television Authority, and Ufu Dialogue Foundation, we have been praying for God's intervention to put an end to the spread of the coronavirus, the COVID-19. Today is another session of prayer, and we are inviting all our brothers and sisters, the Christians and the Muslims, to find time today to pray that God may intervene and put an end to this COVID-19. Nigeria Interreligious Council is a non-governmental council that was put in place in 1999. And it is headed by the two co-chairmen, Alaji Saad Abubakar and his eminence, Reverend Dr. Olashupo Ayokule. Alaji Saad Abubakar, his eminence, is the President General of the Supreme Council, Nigeria Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs. While Reverend Dr. Ayokule Shupo is the president of the Christian Association of Nigeria. So to begin this, our prayer session, we want to invite our sister to begin the prayer, Mother Claude, who is the president of the Nigeria Conference of Women Religious. Mother Claude Ogu is the Mother General of the Immaculate Sisters of the Immaculate Heart. So we invite Sister now to pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. God, our loving Father. We, your children, come before you as members of one big family under you. We thank and praise you for your love and care. We believe that you are with us always in all the pleasant and unpleasant situations of life. We feel helpless and greatly confused as we watch our brothers and sisters die in thousands and hundreds daily and many more are infected with this monstrous disease. Father, we have no one else to help us out in this situation except you. We humbly beg you, loving Father, to reach our world of this coronavirus pandemic so that your children may once more know your peace and life will return to normalcy. We thank you for the efforts of our leaders, and we ask you to grant them the wisdom, humility, and love to govern your people in these turbulent times. We thank you for the generosity of those who are helping the poor and the vulnerable with their resources. Touch the hearts of many more to help those who are suffering on account of this pandemic. Grant to our scientists the wisdom to develop the medication to cure the infected and the vaccine to prevent the contagion. Give our health workers and all those serving on the front line of this global emergency strength, protection, and healing. Grant your consolation to the infected, healing to the sick, and eternal rest to those who have died. 
for your blessings on all those who are making sincere efforts to curb the spread of the disease and to assist the sick and the poor. Above all, our loving Father, turn our hearts and our words to you. We make our prayer through Jesus Christ, your Son, who died and rose to redeem us. Amen. May I call on Mother again, just for 30 seconds on one minute, to summarize your prayer in Igbo language. We thank you, Mother Mary Cloud Ogu, Superior General Sister of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, Mother of Christ, and President Nigeria Conference of Women Religious. Mother Mary Claude is praying from Anambra State, Onitia. Onitia and Anambra State, the Archdiocese of Onitia. Mother, thank you very much. We hope that when we invite you again, you will oblige us. May God bless you and hear our prayers that you have offered to God Almighty. Thank you very much. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. Now we invite our mother and sister, Mrs. Raleigh at Akibola, who was a former admirer of the FCT Form 1, Federation of Women Association of Nigeria. Adja, please. Azubilai mena shayani and rojim bismillah, Ramani and Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbili Alameen, Ramani and Rahim, Mayaomi Deen. Ya kana abudu wa ya kana sahin idina suranta al mustaqim suranta allazina ni'amta alayhim gari bi magbi alayhim wa la dalina ami 
oh Lord, the God of yesterday, today, tomorrow, the owner of the heaven and heart, the owner of you and me, the owner of life and death, almighty God, the gracious, the most merciful. We are calling you at this period of our time. We are in distress. We are calling on your intervention. We have been in this progress of man, the whole a lot of the entire human race is been facing this challenge. We don't have any person to turn to other than Almighty God. We are turning, we are begging, we are sincerely begging, we are on our knees. We are begging you fervently from the bottom of our heart. We are praying to you. It's only you that can elevate problem from the human race. This we know our sins. We have sinned against you. Almighty God, we are now praying. We are your creature, and you have said it that you, you love human beings. And this is why we are turning back to you. We know we have heard. Please forgive our sins. If it is because of sins of the entire human race that you are inflicting this injury on us, we pray that you should heal the injury by the grace of God. We are praying to you, Almighty Allah. We have no other place to go. We have no other person to call on to. We have nowhere to face other than to face the Almighty God. We are begging you. We have repented from our sins. And we are going to turn a new life. We pray to you, God Almighty, those who have been, those who are dead, may Almighty Allah forgive their souls. Bless their souls and put them in a legend of free house. And those who are still nursing the, the, corona, uh, corona, the coronavirus, we pray to you, God, it's only you that can heal. There is no other person, no medicine. If you intervene in a second, this thing will vanish from the entire human race. We are now pleading. We are begging. We are soliciting your assistance, your utmost help to eradicate this from the entire world. Because if we pray, we say this thing should leave Nigeria, if it's still in another country, it will still come back to us. We are praying that you should please, in your in mighty name, I am praying, this thing should be eradicated in the entire human race. We don't want it. We do not want, it's an, a great enemy, an unseen enemy. We want you to take this, this away from us. We beg you in the name of God. You are the mightiest. You know everything. You know what we don't know. You see what we don't see. By this power that is confined on you, in your, all your names, we are begging you. We are begging you. Robin Najini Wali me my Yamaluna. Robin Najini Wali me my Yamaluna. Robin Najini Wali me my Yamaluna. Robin I can see one other Zaba in a moment. No. Robin I can see one other Zaba in a moment. No. Robin I can see one other Zaba in a moment. We beg you. You know the meaning more than we know it. We are using this special prayer to beg you. Almighty God, we want you to put an end. We pray to you. We beg you. We are on our knees. We have no other place to go. We have nowhere to face other than you. Pray to pray you should not leave us in this second. We pray to God Almighty. Put an end to this by the grace of God. We are, we are not commanding you. Because who are we? We have nowhere to go. We cannot command you, Almighty God. We can only plead. And that is what we are doing. We are begging you. We are soliciting. Use your hidden one name from 99, the one that is hidden, that is only you that know it. We beg you by this name. Please, and please, and please eradicate this COVID-19 and let it depart the entire human race. In the name of Almighty Allah, I pray. Robert Nati, Nafi Dunia, Sanata, Nafi Lakirati, Asanda, Nasaba, Nan, Ami, Ami, Kufaya, Kwami, Subhana, Robika, Robbil Hisati, Amaya, Sifun, Wassalam, Nala, and Musalin, Walhamdulillah, Robbil Hala, Amin, Salu, Ala, Nabuli, Karim, Salah, Allah, Wali, Wassalam, Sali, Allah, Muda, Sali, Wassalam. Summarize your prayer in your local language in 13 seconds. Mo bere ni oru ko lorun oba ajo ke aye asake orun. Oba na obo ni obo ola oba to da wa wa si laye oba to ni sama mejeje ati lele. Oun lo laye atorun. A wa be oni apo yi. A le lo ta le kepe. Iwo Olorun oba oga ogo. Iwo ni kan soso na la le kepe. Iwo lo le la wa ninu hayi lahi lo ta wa yi. Gbogbo agbaye si ni kini iba. A wa be Olorun to ba je ese wa na lo to be afi oruko nla are oruko kan soso 99 name oruko yo kan ti o fi 100 to fi ma araye afi oruko na afi be olorun 
lati mo sa wola si kota wa yi o gba adua gbogbo wa a gbogbo adua orilede yi nikan ta ba gba to ba to wa lori ile ibomi o si ma to pada sori ile a wa gba adua abe olohun ko mu kini ku ni gbogbo agba nlaye tori gbogbo agba nlaye ni aisan yi de abe olohun ola ti to bi lodo olohun ola la hula wala ku wata ila bila ila lili asim afi ti to bi re be o ko gbe orilede yi ga ko si sanu wa sanu awon to ndari wa ba dari won da ko olohun ba ko si won lemi emi a setani ba yo ko lori ilede ko fe mi olohun si arin gbogbo wa ko je ki alaafia ko joba ni gbogbo agba nlaye loruko mi ma re oni mo toro wa rahmatullahi wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi taala wa barakatuh eh my name is isoria highness alaji aliyu kevin danesi i do no girl sati be kingdom at those state bismillahir rahmanir rahim I pray to Almighty Allah, the Creator of heaven and earth, the most beneficent, the most merciful, to guide us aright, to save us from this pandemic that has ravaged the world in all sectors of this endeavor. We pray that this sickness will go the way it came and it will not harm us, and it will not destroy our economy, it will not destroy our people, it will not destroy our nation. This is the motto of Ramadan, O Allah. And these are the last 10 days of Ramadan, which are the most important in this, your holy month. Almighty Allah, hearken to our prayers. Listen to us. Forgive us our sin. We have sinned. There's no doubt about that but your forgiveness is far bigger than all the sins we have committed. You are the most merciful. Have mercy on us. Let us see your mercy, Almighty Allah, by removing this illness, this COVID-19, this coronavirus, and any other ailment, mm -hmm. HIV, um, Lassa fever, and all the rest. Remove them from our nation. Remove them from the surface of the earth so that mankind will stay healthy and be in peace to worship you in truth almighty allah we pray to you to please guide us all right to always do the right thing so that at the end of the day we end your favor both in this life and the hereafter subhana rabbika rabbi zati ma yasifun assalamu alaikum mursalin walhamdulillah rabbil alamin that he will your Onu wa mi no yu to na no do to ri no do do ra hinu pupe na ira na ira gile ya ba ya o na wo to ibo ke ba ro ge na gito ke ora o na ma akwe me yo ibo le ma le ma akwe me yo re ni zoru bona ma ta fe onu ke azu mini te no ge na be ko ana ma to fa ma na re me onu wa mi no o cho ki wa mi yo ge na la to to ri ma mi afu re ga ituge mo na re me o na gbona kwe na kwe Thank you. Thank you very much, Irama. I will now invite Re uh, Reverend Dr. Israel Kanji, the conference president of the uh, Nigeria Baptist Convention, FCT, to pray for us. Let us pray. Hmm. Almighty God, our Father in heaven, we give you all glory and praise. We honor and adore you because you are God. Your word tells us that in all circumstances of life, we should give you thanks. We should give you thanks because you are God, you are all-knowing. We should give you thanks because you are the all-powerful God. We should give you thanks because you are God present in all places. We should give you thanks because you understand all circumstances and you have power over every situation. May your name, therefore, our God in heaven, be exalted and glorified forever and ever in Jesus' name. We have come to you at this moment because of the situation that our world is in. We have found ourselves being ravaged by COVID-19. 
This pandemic, oh God, has reached to the ends of the earth. We are calling upon you that you will help us to experience your compassion. Your word tells us that if your people who are called by your name shall humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn away from their wicked ways, then you will hear from heaven. You will forgive their sins and you will heal their land. We pray that God in heaven, you will hear us. We pray you will forgive us. The sins of the leaders, the sins of the led, the sins of the men, the sins of the women, the sins of the adults, the sins of the youths, the sins of the clergy, the sins of the followers. We have all fallen short, O oh Lord our God. We plead for your mercies. We plead for your forgiveness. We pray you will come down and heal our land. You said to us in your word again, call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. This is a day of trouble for us in the world, in Nigeria, in Africa, everywhere, in all of our cities, all of our states, all of our local governments, all of our villages and towns. We pray, God, that you will heal us and forgive us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. E wa ran wa lowo e wa da wa nide e dariji wa e sanu fun wa e fi agbara yin han ki ogun ati ati olale je ti yin awon ti kan yi ti se oluwa ejo we dro ti won awa ayoku ta si wa laye e ma je ki nkan buburo se wa awon to wa la bi aisan e mu lalada ogun ni fun oruko yin jesus christ oluwa wa amen our father imam salisu lawa the Chief Imam of the Office of the Secretary to Government of the Federation. Imam Lawaz, please. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect Nigeria from the COVID-19 pandemic. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a peace in this country. All the insurgencies happening in the Northeast and all over the nation, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala control it by his power. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect the government of Nigeria, to give them the ability to rule us in a peace and harmony. May Allah give them the wisdom to carry the exercise assigned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to them. We are praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala due to the noble month, the month of Ramadan, the month of blessing, the month of rewarding to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect this our country and to safeguard us from this COVID-19 pandemic. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by giving us an opportunity and privilege to participate in this our noble country. Assalamu alaikum. A'udhu billahi wa sallamu ala mina shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Muna addu'a ga Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chikin wanna wata mi al-barka ga Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kakari muda ga sharrin wanna muna al-balai ga Allah kasakoma dunia Allah wanna kasa tamu anang ibadah da muke yin watan azmi ramadan Allah muna tawassuli kyawawan ayyuka da muke yi Allah ka kare mu daga dukkan sharri wannan musibu da suke da suke faruwa a wannan kasa na kashe kashen mutane a ko ina Allah ka kawo mana saukin su Allah ka ba shi a gabannin mu karfi da iko da basira su dauki wannan matsala da take fuskanta wannan kasa tamu Allah ka rika bashi wa gabannin mu da dabarun su Allah ka shiga cikin al'amuran su Allah ka kare su daga dukkan sharrin makiya Allah ka kewaye su da mutanen kirki na kwarai Allah wanda kuma suke da bumunan nufi Allah mu bamu san su ba amma kai ka san su Allah ka yakice su daga jikin shi wa gabannin mu Allah ka kawo mutanen kirki su kewaye su Allah ka taimake mu Allah ka zauna da wannan kasa ta mu lafiya da sauran kasashen yan uwa musulmi Assalamu alaikum. Thank you Imam Salisu Lawa for representing the office of the Secretary to Government of the Federation. Thank you very much sir. At this point we are rounding up and I would like to sincerely thank the 
Office of the SGF Secretary to Government of the Federation and the Nigeria Television Authority who has offered us the space and the opportunity to do this program. And we ask God to bless the director of NTA, the director general of NTA, and the secretary to government of the Federation. I ask God to bless and protect you, and may God hear our prayers. We also sincerely thank the Ufu Dialogue Foundation for providing the technical skills for this program. We pray that God will hear our prayers. Viewers, this prayer is every Thursday. Please listen to the network news. It will be re 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 relate and also in our YouTube. Like it and subscribe for it in NIREC YouTube. All you need is just to type NIREC in your YouTube and you'll get the information. So as we come to the end of this program, I ask Almighty God to bless Nigerians, to bless Africans, and to bless all these world citizens. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And may God hear our prayers. Thank you very much.